Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. We affirm that we cherish our religious freedom and are profoundly respectful of religious traditions. But we also have to say clearly that our religious freedom doesn't grant us the freedom to deny our fellow Americans their constitutional rights. That was a statement made by President Barack Obama when he said these words at a Democratic National Committee of Gay Law for the LGBT community in New York which is a major source of political and financial support for the president. But while Americans hold dear the constitutional right to practice their religion free from government interference, Mr. Obama said that the right cannot be used to deny constitutional rights to others. The trouble is the constitutional right to same-sex marriage is a brand spanking new right that was never understood to be in the Constitution until it was redefined by the Supreme Court recently. He went on to say, as we are respectful and accommodating genuine concerns and interests of religious institutions, we need to reject politicians who support new forms of discrimination as a way to scare up votes. Note that he did not mention the rights of individuals as well as institutions. Also note that opposition to same-sex marriage and lifestyle is a new form of discrimination. That is only because it is a recently created definition of discrimination based on falsehoods. The gratuitous remark about scaring up votes was apparently a reference to Republican candidates who oppose gay marriage. The president began his speech by saying, Seven years ago, we came together not just to elect a president, but to reaffirm our faith in that most American of ideals, the notion that people, no matter where they come from or who they love, can change this country. Most people that elected President Obama were unaware of this. They would not have understood that they were voting for a president who would dramatically change the country and take it downward to Sodom by promoting same-sex marriage and abolish don't ask, don't tell in the military by lifting the policy that barred gays and lesbians from serving openly in the military. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. That's Luke 17:28. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.